Hi everybody, this is Chuck Link. I'm from Link Outdoor Lighting Distributors. We're in the lighting lab today and we're talking a little bit about transformer theory and how to use a volt amp clamp meter. Real basic stuff guys. We're not an expert, but we can get you through some troubleshooting. Um, first off, you've got to have a good meter, a good volt amp clamp meter. That means it's a volt meter, it's an ohm meter, um, it's a, an amp probe they call it, but it's actually an amp clamp meter. And we'll go over that in a second, but let's talk about a little bit about voltage. Oh, and by the way, we're here in our showroom at Link Outdoor Lighting, and this happens to be a WAC transformer power and um, a nice display that we have that the WAC guy set up for. So we're using that just as a test transformer. First thing we're going to do is check voltage and show you a little bit about it. Um, now, it's hanging on this wire. Don't worry about that. It's just hanging for display purposes. We've got our red and the red, the black and the black. These are our volt probes. We're talking about AC current today, guys. Most all landscape lighting transformers and fixtures run on AC current. Um, you can use this for DC current as well, but right now we're talking about AC. One important thing when guys call in here and we're trying to troubleshoot with them, there's primary and secondary. Primary is typically the top half of the transformer. It's the 120 volt or plug-in receptacle input. So primary, think in terms of 120. Secondary is the bottom side of the transformer and it's the 12, 13, 14, it's the output side of the transformer. Now transformers are just a factor machine, a factor of 10. So 120 in, factor by 10, you're gonna get 12 out. Makes sense. And of course, then you got the 13, you got the multiple taps. That's another whole chapter of discussion. But for example, put your probes in, the red and the red, the black and the black, and then it doesn't matter. You can switch them around here, but you'll notice something right away. Let me put my glasses down so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so remember I said it was a factor of 10. Well, we're on the common. By the way, touch one probe to the common, one to the 12. To show you that it doesn't make any difference, I'll switch colors here. Remember, it's AC current, so it won't matter. So it's the same. We're getting a reading of 10.2. Can you see that, Brian? Got it. Okay, and you're going, well, wait a minute. He said 120 in, 12 out. Well, why are we getting such a low reading? Well, let me show you why. We're going to go in and we're going to check the primary side. And the reason why we're getting such a low reading there, which we didn't realize ourselves, is, can you see that, Brian? Got it. On the primary side, we're only, we're only inputting from the receptacle 117 volts. So it's still going to be a factor of 10. We're going to be a little bit off our 120, which we were. You need to know that, guys, when you're setting up transformers, because the first thing you're going to say is, hey, i got a bad transformer. It's not a bad transformer. You're just inputting less than, and that's, it can be 5% less. It can be up to 5% more. So you could, you could touch that receptacle in there and be putting out 125 volts. It's okay. Don't, don't get hung up on that. Now, here's the other important part. So when we're talking, we can, we can talk about volts, and you can check the upper taps and see what your, what your pro progress is. Generally, it'll be one volt higher as you go up the line. Another very important thing is amps. Amps is really the measure of the flow of electricity. So you set your meter to A with that squiggly line and then clamp a, the wire, one wire coming out of the common. So this run, remember secondary side, we're at 5.5 amps. You can clamp all the wires coming out of the common so now we're 10.7 so each one of these runs has got about five and a half amps on it uh, you could also clamp the tap side about the same reading 5.5 but what you can't do is clamp both on one line because the single cancels itself out so when somebody says hey take an amp reading you're going to clamp one or all of the wires in the common, and that's how you tell what, are you getting this, Brian, what the load is on that common. Oh. Use your clamp meter, clamp the whole thing. There's no resetting for low or high voltage. Now the converse, same thing. This is a photocell loop here. So here's what we've got. We've got neutral, we've got a hot, and then a hot return back into the transformer. So we're not utilizing a photocell, we're just inputting the hot side. This is only a break in the hot side. So all we want to do is clamp that one hot side, and there we are. We're getting, see this, we're getting a lot of fluctuation here, but that's okay. We've got 
one, remember it's a factor of 10. So we've got 1.1, 1.2 amps on the primary side, factor of 10. Make sense guys? You'll have lots of questions I'm sure. Give us a call, but this is just the basics. So primary side, secondary side, amps on the squiggly line, volts on the squiggly line, and there's a couple little tricks to that. Oh, one other thing, we get a lot of questions about, guys will go back on a job and they'll go, well, I don't even know what size transformer this is. On every transformer that is legal to put out in somebody's house, there's a sticker that says, do not exceed so many amps. In this case, is a 300 watt transformer, 2.5 amps. So here's what you do. If it says 2.5 amps, then multiply 120 times 2.5, you get 300 watts. So, and that's how it goes. So multiply whatever the amp sticker says by 120, you'll get the size of the transformer. 300 watt transformer, 600 watt transformer, it's gonna say five amps and so on. Uh, that's as brief as we can make it. Uh, give us a call if we can help you in any way. I hope you find this uh, of value. Thank you.